That was dumb. I'm gonna shut up. All right. Next. Oh my gosh. You don't even want to know what I did. back to my channel I am so juiced to share this collaboration video with y'all and if you couldn't already tell by the title this collaboration is with Zawful if you are not familiar with Zawful they are an online shopping website I'm gonna keep it real with y'all prior to this collaboration I have already made purchases with Zawful and I remember discovering them on Insta, I think. Also through like other people's YouTube videos. I saw that they had really cute swimsuit styles and I was like, ooh, and the price? Let me tell y'all, the price literally is like $20 average, I would say, for different swimsuit styles. And they're actually cute ones that I personally love. And so I was like, I'm gonna give it a shot and hopefully it works out. And it worked out perfectly. I loved the purchases that I've made in the past. I've also made a clothing purchase with them as well. I got this satin pajama set from them and I was a little skeptical about it at first because I didn't know if it was going to be cheap or if it wasn't going to fit me right. But what's really helpful is a lot of people leave reviews on their body type or their sizes and I kind of compared with them to see how it would fit on me and that's pretty much my guide to how I shop on Zawful. But back to the collaboration. First impression, I already love Zawful and so that's why I was so juiced when they finally reached out to me because I've literally been waiting for the day. And they sent me in some pieces that I get to review and show to you guys. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. And without further ado, let's get right into the review video. So how I'm gonna organize this, I think I'm gonna do swimsuits first and we'll go from there. First off, I just wanna say when you order your packages and all that, each garment comes individually wrapped or like each set comes individually wrapped in a little baggie like this and it says Zoffel down the side right here and it's just a little Ziploc type mechanism. Oh, let me actually pull up the names for y'all. All right, so this first one is called High Cut Ribbed bandeau bikini set and I got a small in red and I was a little iffy on the bust part because let me just say I'm not as full there but it actually wasn't that bad because in the back you can adjust how tight you want it to be around your bust and then also it is padded for a little support this bottom like I said it's high cut so it's definitely gonna be a lot more exposed on the hips part and the material is actually pretty thick okay moving on to the next piece this is another swimsuit this is called Zoffel crisscross neon smocked bikini set i also got this in a small this one was actually probably one of my favorites not necessarily because of the style but i think i just really fell in love with the color and how bright it is so here's the top right here and you can see it's frilled a little bit you can tie it in the back to tighten it to how you want it also this one doesn't have padding but I wasn't tripping. As for the bottom, this is also a really high cut bikini bottom and it's also frilled. Okay, moving on to the next swimsuit. We have the Bando Tropical Bikini Set. I thought I wasn't going to be able to fit the top because there was no adjustable strap. So it's kind of like you fit it or you don't. Honestly, it wasn't too bad. I think I can make it work. But here's the top and then the bottom was a really cute palm leaf print. It's just all around. And I thought the color scheme went really well together. Y'all know I love palm leaves so I had to okay going into this next swimsuit we have the Zoffel tropical leaf crisscross bikini set and I thought the aesthetic of this swimsuit was adorable because it's all white and then it has some leaf design and then also some flower design on it too 
but here is the top part it has an adjustable back where you can tighten or loosen it accordingly and as for the bottom it's just following the same print right here and also on the inside all right moving on to this next swimsuit it is one of the more basic and plain ones that i chose this is called the Zoffel ribbed high leg bikini set and i got this one in black because i realized i think i only have a black bikini bottom and it's not an actual matching set I really loved this swimsuit because it was really minimalistic to the point where it was so cute. It's just the same high cut bottom as the other bathing suits that I've been showing you. The top, it's just plain. Both ties are adjustable at the neck and the back part that it goes around. There is also padding within the top as well. I'm just, yeah. Moving on, we have a one-piece swimsuit. This is like the first one-piece swimsuit that I've bought since I was like, hella little. I've been trying to find a really cute one, but every time I did, it was either super expensive or I was like, nah, I don't want it no more. But because of this collab, I was like, you know, I'm gonna get me one. This one is straight up bright blueberry ass blue. And then it has a low back. And then as you can see, there's padding within the front part. And it's pretty high cut in the front. So it's basically like you were gonna wear a bodysuit as a swimsuit, if that makes any sense. On to the next, we have some actual clothing, I believe. I think that's all for the swimsuits. So we're gonna go into this two piece set that I got. I was a little iffy on this one, and after trying it on, I was still kind of iffy. It's called Side Stripe Velvet Top Shorts Matching Set, and this is in the color Red Wine, and it's also in a small. Just a side note, basically everything I bought was in a small except for one thing, and I'll show y'all which one wasn't in a small. But here's the top, and it doesn't have adjustable straps, and then see how it's kind of longer? I wanted it to be a little bit more sports bra type fit. I just feel like it kind of cut off my circulation a little bit because the elastic part just seemed like it could have been more stretchy. As for the bottoms, they fit my waist and my hips, and they hugged. But also, I feel like these could have been a little bit more loose too. But then again, looking at the material of these, they are velvet. So that tends to be a little bit more of a stiffer material and not as flexible. And then on to this next one. This is one of my favorite two pieces because it was so cute on y'all. And this is called the Zoffel Cami Top and Cinched Asymmetrical Skirt. And I got the one in black. Here's the bottom. And as you can see on this side, it's a little cinched to add some depth. I don't know. I think you guys can kind of see that. And then also down here, there's a little tie. I just tied it in a little bow tie knot. Here's the top that goes along with it. It's just a plain spaghetti strap top. It has adjustable straps so that it fits you right. And then as for the fit in the bust area, it's pretty flexible material. So either way, I think it'll fit pretty appropriately for everybody. Okay, moving on to the next piece of clothing and this one is called the spaghetti strap crop top and it's in the color mango orange for this one i was looking at the reviews a lot of people were saying they didn't like the straps on this top because they were a little bit too long and you can't adjust them so i was a little scared for that because i don't really need my straps to be super long either but i was like you know we'll just try it out and see if it works one downside i will say to this top is not the straps actually it's rather the bottom part of the top it's not stretchy at all when i tried to put this over my head to put it on i felt like i was gonna snap it so i had to be kind of careful trying to get this on so that i wouldn't snap the elastic band inside of it other than that i just liked the color of this top and it's really cute for the summertime that's my two cents on that top we have another top that i wanted to work out a little bit better than it did but it's all right it is called the knitted latisse i 
think it's Latisse. The cutout cami top here is what it looks like from the front. It crisscrosses at the back actually. And then the sides have a little cutout right here. I wish this top was a little bit more fitted than it actually was. It is definitely a lot looser than I expected and not as hugging to your body type. And for these next tops, I kind of just wore it with the skirt from the previous set that I showed you guys because I didn't want to go find some shorts to put on, so. This one, I also had higher expectations for this top. It didn't let me down, but it also didn't necessarily have me as hyped as it did. Here is called, oh my gosh. You don't even want to know what I did. There's definitely a zipper on the side, guys. That would have been so much easier. I did not know there was a zipper. I didn't bother to look. I was just assuming I had to put it over my head. So maybe that'll make me feel a little bit better because I thought that it was really supposed to fit like that because I could not. I was struggling so bad, you guys, when I was putting it on. This is called the Cami Scallops Lace Tank Top. It's a super cute lace trim right here. I've been looking for one that was like this so that I can kind of dress it up a little bit. Just a side note, there's no padding in this. And then also there aren't any adjustable straps. But for me, the length was actually okay. And I would say I wish it was a little bit more fitting on the bust. But also, I think I just wish that I had more to fill it with. But I will say I'm happy with the fact that all the lace is intact and it's not ripped or anything because I know sometimes buying lace it's a little sketchy just because it's really easy to rip it on to the next one we have another top and this is called the ribbed v-neck crop tank top it's in white and it said one size for some reason a size two to four. First impression of trying it on I love the front but the one thing I will say is the armhole part where it's like at your shoulder and down right here and it scoops. I was not a fan because it was really snug and not flexible. It looks flexible now, but it honestly hugs a little bit tighter than I thought it would. So that was kind of the downside of this top. But I did love just the effortless effect that it gives if I were to just wear it casually to go out. And I like the little V scoop in the front there. This one we have a two piece actually. This one is called the floral bando top and split pants. I was a little scared that I wouldn't be able to fit it lengthwise because I'm pretty short. But the fact that I was able to raise it up on my torso more, it actually looks really cute. And it kind of looks like a dress to be honest. But here is the top. It's just a little flowy bandeau. And then it also has a sheer cover on the inside as well. And then as for the pants, they look like this. And then here's the cutoff right here. And for me being super short, I'm like 5'1". So if any of y'all are the same height as me or whatever, we could pull it off. It's good. And I'm really juiced to actually wear this out somewhere. And on this next item, I really love it, but then I also have like some mixed emotions about it. But here's why. So I got this crop hooded windbreaker reflective jacket. This is actually the piece that was in a medium. And then it said that it fit a US size too. So I was like, yeah, we gonna get a medium. This right here is so freaking dope y'all so i got these reflective vans that are customized with louis vuitton emblems all over it and paired up with this would look so freaking dope so you can already kind of see it's reflecting right now but let me show y'all what it looks like with the actual flash because this goes crazy i'm gonna make a snap right quick with the flash to show y'all how reflective it is it's literally glowing. That's crazy. Because I've always wanted some type of article of clothing that was reflective. And so when I seen this, I was like, we're copping. I probably wouldn't zip it up because it does fit pretty snug. And it's not flexible at all. It's really stiff. But given that it's a windbreaker type of jacket, it makes sense. Also, the hood in my try on. Like y'all can see the hood like it's just kind of weird. It makes me look like a shark. So I don't like the way it sat on top of my head. I'll probably just not use the hood. This last piece, 
It's actually more so of a winter outerwear garment. I just got it anyways. It's called the Half Zip Plain Fall Fur Sweatshirt. And this is in tan and it actually fits really well. It could be looser. It has a zip up in the front. I'll probably only zip it up like halfway and not all the way up to the top here because then I'd feel like I'm choking and then the inside is kind of like a soft material too and I love the fact that it's cuffed on the sleeve and then it's also cuffed at the bottom and it's gonna be super dope for the fall and winter time coming up y'all are probably gonna see me looking like a teddy bear too real soon all right so we have reached the end of this review slash haul video it was awful looking at all the different styles that I picked out to show you guys and share my opinions on. Even though some of the garments that I had were a little bit too loose or just like not loose enough, I was pretty satisfied with all the stuff I got. When I was trying things on, y'all, I would like look in the mirror first just to see how it looked before I started filming the try on. And I was really just looking in the mirror like, oh my gosh, that stuff is so cute. I want to say thank you to Zawful for giving me this opportunity and reaching out to me to do this collab. That pretty much is it for this video, y'all. Again, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for other videos I will be posting real soon. So I will catch everybody later in those other videos. Bye, y'all.